What's up, Kyle Gang? Or should I say Physics Gang? Uh, I guess that's my new thing for all these videos. Okay, we have a problem here. It's uh, There's a train, and there's another train 200 meters ahead of it. And the other train is going a little slower, but the back train is decelerating. We want to know, are they going to collide, and are the cows going to witness it? Pretty cool. All right, so let's try it out, right? Uh, I'm, I'm sure I have the, the problem on the screen somewhere right now. These problems are a little too long to write out on the board. All right, so let's go. We have our train. Wheels, yeah, look at that train, it's beautiful. And I have another train, 200 meters, ahead of the other train. They're both going forward. This one's going forward 25 meters a second, and this one's going 15 meters a second. But this train is also decelerating at negative 0.1 meters a second squared. All right, and we want to know, are they going to run into each other? How are we going to do this? Well, let's write out the equations that we know. I think the, the key to finding the problem on this is when things are going to collide, you want to know at what point their uh, position touches each other, right? You want to know basically when their two positions are equal to each other. And if the positions are going to be equal to each other at any point, that means they're going to collide. So let's find out where they collide. Or if they do collide, of course. I'm going to give you a spoiler alert. They're going to collide because the cows have got to watch something, right? All right, so let's look at train one. This is train one. This is T2. Train one, acceleration. All right, so we have these two kinematic equations, right? That gives us uh, velocity and acceleration, or and, uh, position. Uh, I don't think we care about velocity, the equation for that. We actually know the velocity for both of these, so don't worry about it. And we don't really, we have acceleration for all we need. So let's write this out. Train one. So x of t, this just means what the x value is in accordance to t is equal to one half acceleration, so negative 0.1, right? I'm gonna make sure that's the right number. Um, yeah, that's, that's the right number. T squared plus velocity, 25t, plus initial value of x, which is zero. All right, and we have t2. Uh, let's wait, please, just because. Um, so it's acceleration, no acceleration. Don't have to worry about that. Uh, so zero plus v of t, so it's 15 of t. And then its initial starting point is 200. All right, perfect. Now, if we want to see where these two run into each other, simply set x is equal to each other, right? If you have set the two position things equal to each other, it's going to find where they run into each other, basically, if they do. If, if they don't run into each other, you're going to find that there's no solutions or it's an you know, imaginary number. So let's write this out. So negative 0 0.05, because that's half of 0 0.1, t squared plus 25t is equal to this part, 15t plus 200 times t. Okay, now let's move everything to one side because then we can use um quadratic formula. Trust me guys, I'm not a fan of the quadratic formula, but uh, we gotta do it. So zero is equal to 0 0.05t uh, minus 10t plus 200, right? And then let's do the quadratic formula. Uh, it's not x, it's t. Oh, markers are too good, actually. Uh, b. It's negative b. Yeah, okay, so it's going to be 10 plus or minus the square root b squared, so it'll be 100 minus 4, 0 0.05, negative 0 0.05, uh, 200. You guys, you guys got to learn this, I guess, over 2a, right? Uh, 0.01, or not 0 0.01, 0 0.1. All right. Wait, yeah, okay. This is probably right. Let me make sure. <laughs> but trust me, uh, you just plug this into your calculator, and you'll get two values. And what the two values represent, basically, is there's going to be, let me show you. This this equation here is linear, basically. It's going to be, it's going to look like this. It's going to be a straight line. This equation is uh, quadratic, right? That means it's going to look something like this. And what the two values you're going to get are is that you get this first value, and you're going to get the second value. And what this first value represents is the first point where this train passes this train. It's going to touch at that point, and then it's going to be ahead of this train, but it's going to start slowing down, and then this train is going to catch up, which is where this intersection happens. So if they never ran into each other, say they were on separate trains passing, the, it would pass, and then it would come back around, basically. So let's see what are our two t values. Um, I should have wrote this somewhere. 
Okay, here it is. T is equal to uh, 22.54 seconds or 107.56 seconds. We don't care about this one. We want to find out where they first intersect. We don't care about where they intersect second, right? So here's the first value. So yes, for A, they do intersect, and it's at this time value. And simply, all we have to do now is just plug this into either one of these, right? Because we proved that at this time, they're gonna be at the exact same point. So I'll prove that to you guys, actually. So let's do that. So for train one, x1 of uh, 22.54, this is saying that at t is equal to 22.54, what is our x value? So basically, just plug in t for all of that. I need my paper back. Okay, what's the number? 53, 538.1 meters, right? Let's do it for two, x of two is equal to 22.54. I'm just gonna do this in my head a little bit. So 22 times 15, it's gonna be like, 20 times 15, that's like 200, that's like 300. Yeah, it's gonna, it's gonna be the same number. 538.1 meters. There you go, guys. So that's the distance. Uh, that's all I'm looking for, right? Yep. Uh, sig figs, okay. Sig figs. I don't like sig figs. I'm just joking, I do like sig figs, but okay, there you go. That's the actual answer that your book wants or whatever. And yeah, let's take these kind of problems. Um, yeah, pretty simple. Stick around if you want some more, uh, some more physics videos. And uh, maybe if you don't want more physics videos, I might have some other channels, or not some other channels, some other playlists for you. Got Calc 3, got Diffie Q, all the fun stuff. All right, all right, see you guys later.